Hello again, sports fans, and welcome to this special Halloween episode of Sports Access. I'm your ghost host with the most, Ryan Grounds. This last week in Texas Western Sports has been truly terrifying. The men's soccer teams have lost two out of two of their last games, and the defeat on October the 22nd had a horrifying ending score of 1-4 Wayland Baptist University. While the Rams are dying slowly, the Lady Rams soccer team seem to be doing a little of killing of their own. The Lady Rams beat Wayland Baptist University 2-1 on October the 22nd. Lastly, the men's golf team rose from the dead at the Kohler Collegiate Classic at Whistling Straits Golf Course on October the 21st and 22nd. They finished fourth overall and then crawled back into their graves proudly. First, we look at Rams soccer. The Texas Wesleyan University men's soccer team dropped a 4-1 conference match right into the bucket of apples to Wayland Baptist University at J.V. Hillard Field on October the 22nd. The Rams are now on a three-game losing streak. All road losses, as Oklahoma has not been friendly place for the Rams this week, the bigger campuses must have been taking the Rams' trick-or-treat candy. It took only 34 seconds for Wayland Baptist to score. The Pioneers would score three more goals in the 4-1 win. The Rams' lone goal came in the 34th minute when Ivan K. crossed an incredibly accurate ball to the foot of Max O'Shea, who knocked in the back of the net for his second goal of the season. Arnold Martinez, the goalie from hell, suffered the loss in a four-save effort. The shots went 14-7 in the Pioneers' favor. Waylon Baptist held the edge on corner kicks at 6-1. The Rams were cautioned three times, but WBU was cautioned twice in the match. I think it's time for the Rams soccer team to rise from the losing grave and bring terror and destruction back into the NAIA conference with some more Texas Westland wins. Next, we turn our heads around 180 degrees to look at Lady Rams soccer. The Texas Westland women's soccer team downed conference opponent Wayland Baptist University 2-1 at the J.V. Hillard Field on October the 22nd. The Lady Rams and Lady Pioneers played to a 1-1 tie after the first 45 minutes of the match. The Pioneers wasted no time getting on the board, catching Westland off guard in the fourth minute of the match. The Lady Pioneers stabbed first for a 1-0 lead. Jessica Watton got the Lady Rams on the board with a magnificent goal assist by a pinpoint throw from Alexis M. She knew exactly how to beat the keeper for her 11th goal of the season. She kicked it so hard that her head fell off. The Lady Rams broke the tie in the second half. Alexis found Watton again, this time off a corner kick that Watton headed in to take a 2-1 lead in the 59th minute. The Lady Pioneers tried to even the score with a shot on the goal, but Nikki Lockwood got the save to keep the Rams in front of the executioner. The Pioneers made one more push in the 71st minute on a good look by Jessica Bell, but Lockwood was solid getting the save. The Lady Rams continued to pressure Wayland Baptist and finished the game strong to seal the 2-1 win. This was a relatively low shooting match. The Rams and the Pioneers took nine apiece. Wesson forced six corner kicks to Pioneer three. Watton now has a team leading 12 goals on the season. Alexis picked up her fourth and fifth assist for the season and leads the team in that category. Now we look over our shoulders in a quick panic to look at men's golf. The Rams were preceded by Grandview University, who made up 11 strokes in the second round from their 312 first day score. Blake Vincent tied for the top spot at 149 after posting the lowest score of the tournament with a 72 stroke second round. Well, that wraps up this spooky episode of Sports Access. Make sure to check for more sports updates on ramsport.net or at the rambler.org. I've been your ghost host with the most, Ryan Grounds, and I'll see you soon for more Texas Western Sports at Rambler TV's Sports Access. <laughs>